I'm Firepug. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the changes to the Apex Legends rank system coming in the next season. Nothing like incredibly huge, but this is a pretty good rework, so we're going to go through it all. The first thing here, play for the team. So now when you get a kill, everyone on the team will receive some RP. So I think that's pretty good. I think that's a good idea. Helps make it less of a, for people solo queuing, less of a just a 1v3 stuff where they're not worried about their team at all. They just want to drop, get kills, and move on. It makes it actually worthwhile for you to work as a team together, and you don't have to worry about kill stealing as much either. Play for the win. So the kill RP cap is now removed. I think last season or this current season, it is six kills and assists combined is when you stop earning RP for kills. They are completely throwing this out the window, and now you can keep earning RP no matter how many kills or assists you are getting. Speaking of assists, they are changing the assist timer. They're adding a whole five seconds to the assist timer. I'm not so sure about this one. I thought it was kind of fine, but we'll see how this one plays out. Also, assist timers will now be refreshed upon player's revival. Now, probably the biggest thing here is going to be tier demotion. So now you can be demoted out of the entire tier itself. So, for example, say you're gold 3. You're playing ranked, you have a bad day, you drop down to gold 4. You hop on the next day, you have another bad game, you work yourself all the way down to the bottom of gold 4. So, normally, in the season like this season and every season before, you would just be stuck at 0 RP into gold, just at the very bottom of gold 4. This has now changed, you can now go from gold 4 into silver 1. And I personally think this is good. I think this will make it harder to get up to Masters and maintain Masters. I think there will be a lot more Diamonds this season, versus, or next season rather, where in this current season there was a lot of Masters. Next thing, entry cost adjustments. So these are now the new entry costs. You can read the graph for yourself. No point in me sitting here explaining it. It starts in Bronze. Bronze now has entry costs and works all the way up to the 75 RP into Masters. Now you may be wondering, what's going on? Why is it cost to get into bronze? And that is because there is now a rookie tier. And in this rookie tier, there will be no entry cost. Now, speaking of tiers, the kill tier difference that they introduced, I think it was two seasons ago, maybe it was just one season ago. Basically, if you killed someone that was better than you or worse than you, you would receive a different amount of RP points for accordingly you can see with this chart no point in me sitting here explaining it for a minute that that is changed very slightly not really a huge change not really too much to even worry about there here is the rp points you'll be getting per kill or assist based on what place you get um so if you place first you'll be getting 125 points for placement and each kill or assist you got will be worth 25 points. However, if you take 14th or worse, you'll be getting no RP points for placement and only one RP point for a killer assist. So this really makes it worthwhile to try to get into those uh, at least top 10, top five, top four, really makes it worthwhile to try to play for that win rather than in the past where just be drop hotspot, kill four people, die, and then get into the next game. That is not going to work anymore. That is not going to get you anywhere near the RP points you're going to want to get. This really lines up with what is going on in the competitive side. This is very much similar to the competitive point system that the ALGS is run off of. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know what you think of the rank changes. I'm personally, I'm thinking they're going to work out pretty good, but you let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you. I'll see you later.